Hello, I'm Dr. Larry Carnes. Welcome to Spotlight TV. We're so glad that you could join us today. And we have a very special guest with us, Miss Barbara Pierce, and she's written an exciting book, The Emperor's Regret. Miss Pierce, how are you today? I'm fine, thank you. Well, thank you for being our special guest. Thank you for joining us. Share with our viewing audience who you are and tell them a little bit about yourself. Okay, I'm the author of the book, The Emperor's Regret. I was a fourth grade teacher for many years. I retired, so I'm now on retirement. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Retired from teaching, but still actively doing lots of things. Yes, I, I um, went back, I substituted, and um, I did, what else did I do? I did a number of things. Yes. This, writing books is my specialty. Wow. It's, it, so it's, far. It's evident. Now you have this powerful book. I see something here and it said that while on a midnight safari in Botswana, you witness a leopard stalking a baboon for an evening meal. It was a very tense moment. And you said that later, that riveting scene inspired you to write The Emperor's Regret. Now, in this powerful book, there's something that you say. The Emperor's Regret is an original folk tale that tells the story of a popular young emperor who makes the decision to denounce his former lifestyle for another. When he is brought face to face with a surprisingly reality, it changes his way of looking at his very own existence. Can he endure the twists and turns his life is about to take? That's powerful. Talk to us about this powerful book. Okay, well, I didn't write it right after my trip. It takes me a long time to marinate things in my mind. So when I got home, I thought about other things that I had, you know, like uh, the, the, the actual setting is in a rainforest in Southeast Asia. Okay. Because I somehow, my books, I like to put different racial groups in there. Yes. And I decided this time, instead of just doing black or Hispanic, or I wanted to do something that had to do with uh, an Asian person. So I also remember as a teacher, I taught information on the rainforest. And you know, we're having difficulty maintaining the rainforest because uh, a lot of the plants and things are being and animals are being killed because uh, commercial properties are being bought and in those areas. And the rainforest is really important to us. Yes. I remember that because it supplies a great percentage of our oxygen. So it started out with more rainforests, but now we have very few rainforests. So now we're going to be in trouble we're gonna have problems, health problems, because the trees are being defar you know, de um, cut down. And not being replaced. Right. Yes. So all of a sudden that came to me too. And I said, you know, perhaps I would kind of join the two things that I dealt with, the, the trip in, in Africa and also the rainforest. Okay. And that's how that's how the Emperor's Regret came about. I witnessed the, the part you read about the, the leopard stalking. Yes. I was in, because I mean, at, um, see, in um, Botswana, they have these um, animal reserves. Oh, they call them preserves, animal preserves. But they were, um, we were in the national, one of the national animal reserves yes. in Botswana. I can't remember the name because those names are so long. And, and it was like what I thought a rainforest would look like. 
And it was at night when we were in an open uh, Jeep. There were, there were about five or six of us and it was dark. And I couldn't imagine, you know, traveling to a rainforest or to a forest with animals and trees in an open Jeep. Yes. So I, I asked the uh, man, I said, but how we can't see. Uh, he said he had one of those strobe lights on the front of the Jeep. Yes. So he knew what was going on because he lived there. Absolutely. He was our guide. So he pulled us over and then he said, we're going to sit here for a while. He said, you're going to see something that you probably have never seen before coming from the States. I, I was kind of nervous. Suddenly I heard this noise. It sound, have, have you ever lived in a country where apples on trees and, and, and when it, the wind they blows, fall. a lot of them fall? Yes. Now this, multiply that sound on all of these trees. It, uh, I heard the sound hitting the ground and that's the first thing that came to my mind. Who's throwing apples? And when I said to the guide, who's throwing apples? Are those apples? And he said, no. He said, uh, a leopard is in the, on the prowl. And he said, up in the trees are baboons. And they were jumping back and forth and all this hooting sound and, and screaming and, and I said, but what is that falling? So he said, the baboons fear. They know what's down there waiting for them because this happens every night at about the same time. He said, the baboons are losing the food they had digested. And that's what was hitting the ground. Okay. But I was surprised it wasn't hitting us, but he, he was in an area where we were like, a little farther away from. Yes. But I couldn't put that in the book like that. You know, you want to, you don't want to say. Um, yes. Yeah, certain things you don't want to say. So I had to kind of, I don't know how I mulled over it a lot, but it was a fearful sight. But the sound, because you couldn't really see. But anyway, yes. he turned the light up so we could see the leopard and you saw that leopard around the peripheral part of the park just going around slowly slowly yes. slowly it wasn't after us but was waiting for something to fall and finally i heard boom one one boom and as one of the baboons had fallen to the ground and when the leopard got it the the shrieking in the in the trees stopped and the baboon left around the peripheral but it had something in its mouth yes the leopard had had already captured that baboon yes. right so now, how, now know, tie the emperor we have four minutes left tie the emperor okay. into that okay um well i always think of emperors being in exotic places and so i moved that scene out of that park and put it in Southeast Asia, yes. Asia, because that's where most of the rainforests are. So that's how, you know, and I felt this is, would be a more exotic setting. Okay. So. So the emperor leaves, doesn't like his lifestyle, but begins to regret the decision and the choices that, that he's made as a young person. What's the moral, what's the lesson learned from that, that you put in this book? Uh, on the back, it's, and there are a number of lessons, a number of morals, but the one is an old one. Uh, what I said, the grass is not always greener. <laughs> yes. In somebody yes. else's yard. But yes. I think I turned it around a little bit. I know yeah. you say something about how he sought out an elder with great wisdom and powerful magic to pursue the desire that he had. Mm -hmm. And then you said that he experienced the freedom of his new life. Reality falls dangerously short of his expectations. Talk to us about that very quickly about how the reality fell short of his expectations. Because it was not 
um, paradise. Mm. That's what he was looking for. He wanted a more peaceful life. He didn't want to have to deal with anything. He wanted to live the freestyle life. So um, none of that free, he was not free because different things happened because his freedom was not the freedom he dreamed of. Oh, yes. So yeah. he was shocked. And then I, I if you notice, I put, um, yeah, at the end of one, I put, can he endure the twists and turns his life is about to take? Yes. I didn't want to say what they were because at least that's part of the story. Absolutely. Uh, gives yeah. gives the, the yes, some some gives them something. They need to get this book and find out what happens to the emperor. That's powerful. Yeah. Take, if you will, about 40 seconds. Tell our viewing audience any information you want to disseminate, website, email, anything you want to share and where they can get this precious and powerful book. Okay, they can get the book at Amazon or they can get it at New Leaf Media. I have a website, it's from a different company and it's called Barbara Pierce's bookpavilion.com. Okay. Okay. No, no. B A, wait a minute. B A Pierce's bookpavilion.com. That's Perfect. the website. Yes. Okay. Excellent. 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 I tell you, as I'm reading, it shows how you, your creativity and how you brought these two worlds together and you're able to give us a picture as we can just the imagination starts to go out and think about what's happened. The thumpings that reminded you of the apples, but how the baboons were really traumatized because they knew that that leopard was out there. It's such a fascinating, fascinating book. We would encourage our readers to go out and purchase this book from Ms. Barbara A. Pierce, The Emperor's Regret, showing that sometimes decisions can be made in life. And as Ms. Pierce said, the grass isn't always greener on the other side. Ms. Pierce, thank you so much for being our guest today. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm Dr. Larry Carnes. We're glad that you could join us for Spotlight TV. Make sure to connect with us again.